All right, the last thing we're going to talk about in the editing section here is the pen tool and, uh, and uh, editing pops and clicks inside of Pro Tools. I briefly mentioned this in a former lesson, uh, but this is, this is a real lifesaver. And, uh, you know, let's say, you know, your vocalist got, you know, a, a really, really great take, uh, but, you know, for some reason there was some interference or, you know, or they, you know, said a word too loud or whatever, uh, and there's a big pop in the audio file. Uh, there are ways, uh, in, in many cases, of fixing this. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and it's with the pen tool. So, um, on this, I'm going to solo my first uh, acoustic track here by hitting the S button on the acoustic. And uh, let's listen to this here. As you can hear, right about here, there's a, there's a, there's a click. Okay, so... Uh, let's zoom in and let's uh, let's look at that click. So we're going to zoom in by hitting the T key to zoom in, and as you can see, there there it is. Most of the time, you can see these things because they're they're represented uh, in the audio file as you know what what you would expect them to look like. You know, just uh, transient little pops. So when you zoom in far enough. Your audio file, you know, will will go from the solid block to just a line. Okay, so you need to be zoomed in this far, uh, where it becomes a line, in order to use this pen tool. That's the first thing you need to know. So we've isolated our little uh, our little uh, uh, click here, our little pop, and here it is. Um, so now we're going to go up to the pen tool. And just make sure that you have it on freehand. There's a, there's a bunch of different options here on the pen tool. There's line, triangle, square, random, parabolic, S-curve. Uh, but we're just going to draw it in freehand. And we're going to, basically, we're going to redraw this waveform right here. So make sure it's on freehand. Your cursor becomes a little pencil here. And um, just w w right over where this, uh, where this little pop is, just draw a nice smooth curve, sort of where, sort of, uh, you know, in line with what the, with what the audio was already doing, and that's all you have to do. I'll zoom out here, and let's uh, go back a few seconds and play it back. There it is. The pop's gone, and uh, and uh, you know, you're a hero. Uh, so that's that's a really useful feature inside of Pro Tools and can really save you uh, a lot of headaches and has definitely saved me a lot of headaches. So that's the pen tool. So uh, you know, experiment with that, um, uh, and and uh, you, you'll you'll see that it's a really powerful tool and can really uh, benefit you.